Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the impact of Bitcoin Cash is split on Bitcoin if there is any uh, anything that might happen. Uh, the, the clearest and easiest uh, uh, thing is going to be hash power. But let me just uh, back up first and talk about what's happening in Bitcoin Cash. So they have a hard fork coming up on November 15th, and that's going to mean that there's going to be two, at least two Bitcoin Caches, probably Bitcoin ABC and um, Bitcoin Satoshi's Vision or something like that. Uh, there's a ton of exchanges that are shutting down deposits, I'm not going to allow withdrawals until it's clear uh, which way the wind is blowing and so on. So uh, that's what's happening on Bitcoin Cash. They they have a hard fork scheduled, and this is kind of what happens when you have hard forks, right? Like it's a centralized entity saying, okay, we're we're going to go in this direction. Everyone has to upgrade, and some people say, no, I'm not going to do it. Um, in fact, we're going to go do something else and uh, have some other centralized uh, thing, and that's what Bitcoin Satoshi's vision is. Who knows if there's like an original chain or maybe even a third chain, something like that. There's there's a lot of rumors going on in that regard. Anyway, um, currently Bitcoin Cash has around eight or nine percent of the hashing power of Bitcoin, and that's because uh, the Bitcoin Cash price is roughly eight or nine percent of Bitcoin. Um, so, like that, the, those two tend to correspond very, very closely because uh, that's the equilibrium. If it, if it was more than that, then more miners. Um, uh, would move over to Bitcoin Cash, uh, raising its hash rate. Uh, it, if it was, if it costs less than that, then more miners would leave, and then it would cause the hash rate to go down, and so on. Um, so the biggest, uh, the the first and most obvious impact would be, well, if this thing splits into two, if the and the price uh, changes then that will obviously affect Bitcoin. Um, so if right now it's uh, it's about eight or nine percent, if the combined combination of all the splits after November 15th is something like 13 or 14 percent, then some of that hash power was like, 10 minutes and 30 seconds, something like that on average. Uh, but that that could impact Bitcoin at least a little bit. Um, another thing that can really happen that, that might be more interesting is if one chain attacks another. So there are rumors that, you know, uh, Bitcoin Satoshi's vision, Craig's, uh, Craig and Calvin's thing, uh, they, they have the cooperation of a bunch of Chinese mining pools and they might opt to try to uh, use that hashing power to attack the other chain. Now, I don't know what the split is with respect to Bitcoin Cash and who, who, how many miners are supporting one or the other. Uh, but if it's, say, something like an 80-20 split, uh, then it's, it's very possible for that 80% to take some of say like 30 percent of that hashing power and attack the other chain cause large reorgs um cause all sorts of instability on bitcoin cash and uh and basically try to take it out that way um and that would make it very interesting because uh we know for example that on the bitcoin abc side that jihan Wu is a major proponent of that side and he doesn't like satoshi uh you know and uh, Roger Ver is also on the Bitcoin ABC side. He he also has a pool and he has some hashing power resources. Uh, so they might opt to defend themselves by Jihan in particular by taking off some uh, taking over some of the hashing power from their Bitcoin operation and putting it towards defending themselves on Bitcoin ABC. Um, this is not unlike. Jihan's uh, moving some Bitcoin over to Bitcoin Cash, um, which, uh, which according to their IPO prospectus documents, they've uh, they've uh, you know invested heavily into Bitcoin Cash in that way. Um, it would be doing the same except with hash power. They'd be moving some of the Bitcoin hash power over to Bitcoin Cash in order to defend themselves. So you might see uh, more hash power on Bitcoin Cash or the forks of Bitcoin Cash than on Bitcoin as a result, which might also slow down uh, a tad bit at least. Um, and it, it depends on how much uh, miners are willing to forego um, sort of 
short-term profit uh, for whatever long-term gain that they perceive as a part of this hash war that might happen. Uh, so that that might also impact Bitcoin. Um, and the last one is uh, there. There might be a lot of people that uh, I mean, if the price goes down, all right. Like the, the if the combination of the forks after the split goes down dra dramatically, um, this might cause a lot of people in Bitcoin Cash to lose their faith and come back to Bitcoin, um, and that that might cause a bump in price as well. Um, who knows though? Like it, it's it's really difficult to predict. Though traditionally, whenever there has been a split, at least for a short time afterwards, the some of the um, uh, of the coins afterwards is greater than the single coin that existed before. Uh, that is the the If you if you hold through some sort of fork, it tends to be more than it was before. Um, and I don't know if this will be true. Uh, you know when when this happens on November 15th, but that this is definitely a possibility that we have to think about and be prepared for. Um, and, you know, if, if that's that's the case, then more people might be moving in. There might be more uh, miners going towards it. Who knows? Um, and this th this is one of the big questions and, and how this will impact Bitcoin. Anyway, hope that helps you. Let me know, uh, you know, what you think in the comments. This song is done.